let's add some cool custom item models to Minecraft. Forging fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures, and 3D armor models linked in the description below. All right, we found us with back Angel Gemma's more in this tutorial. We're going to be adding some custom 3D item models to Minecraft. Now, this is a very interesting thing because for this, we're going to use the great program. Well, I mean, at least it's great in the context of making some custom 3D models. And the great program is going to be Blockbench. So Blockbench is a really cool program if you haven't heard of it before, maybe you have, and it's just really useful, amazing stuff for custom item models, custom block models, custom entities, all sorts of stuff right here. And you can see already prepared right here, which is also available for download in the description below as well, the item model for a custom staff. You can see here, this is just an example. Now, funnily enough, it should be called Mithril Staff, but we're going to be fine. We can rename it in just a moment. Now, this, as you can see, is pretty much just a, you know, just a little bit of some cubes here, just laid out with some different textures, as you can see. So if I can click on this, you can see, for example, you know, the texture is just taken from the Mithril block, and then here it's taken from the oak planks, and so on and so forth. Now, what's really cool, actually, here is when you click on this display, you can also change the display inside of, you know, how it looks in third person, you know, left, right, you can look how it looks in first person, left and right, on the head, you can even do it on the ground, you can see sort of moving up and down, you can basically, you know, just change the translation, all of this stuff, the scale, however you would like, so it's really freaking awesome like that. And the program itself is really not that hard to use, it's very straightforward, all things considered, so highly recommend. We're not actually making a Blockbench tutorial, no, we're just making a tutorial on, you know, how you can basically use this. So once you have this, you can go to file and then export to export block item model and this will export a json file as you can see so we're going to call this the mithril underscore staff actually and then i will switch back to intellij and we're gonna use this in just a moment at first of course we still need to add a normal item so this is of course going to be an item so what we're just going to do is we're just going to copy over the account bow here and this is going to be the mithril underscore staff and then same of course here mithril underscore staff and this is going to be a normal item completely normal item, not with max damage, but with a max count of one. Because I just want the Mithril staff to be just stackable to one. And now, of course, what we need is first and foremost, a translation here. That is going to be the first thing that we're going to add. We're just going to add it below here. So this is going to be the item tutorial mod Mithril underscore staff underscore staff. And then, of course, here, Mithril staff. And now the item model. And this is going to be the JSON file that we've just created. So this is the JSON file that we have export it from Blockbench, you can see made with Blockbench, and we still need to change a few things. Namely here, we want to say block slash, Mithril block, so that it takes the correct texture. And then same for the Minecraft textures, we also want to do the same thing. So Minecraft block slash, and then we're just going to paste this in for all of the other textures as well. And that is everything that we need to do. And now we have a custom item model in the game. That's literally how easy it is. And it's really freaking awesome, because just with that, you can make so many cool things especially when you think about maybe even combining it with the things that the bow has done, right? That would be really freaking awesome. Like, I highly recommend just playing around with this. And I'm, I'm very much interested in to see basically what you might come up with. But for completion's sake, let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. And as you can see, the Mithril staff has been successfully added to the game. And it looks freaking amazing. I really... I mean, I just love the way that it looks and, you know, the customizability here is pretty much endless. I mean, think about it, you know, if you had just had the normal, let's say, let's just get the dousing rod. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's okay, it's fine, but it definitely doesn't look as impressive as, you know, something like this. This is really cool. You can also see if I throw it down, you can see how it looks as an item in the world. It, that's really awesome as well. And yeah, I mean, all customizable, all done with Blockbench and very, very easily, as I might add, you know, it's it's not that hard to do. So really awesome. And yeah, that's how easy it is to add some custom item models to Minecraft. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated and I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.